Today I want to make a video about rear motor mounts and why they are such a popular upgrade among cars. Why do manufacturers not put a better rear motor mount in the car to begin with? Simple. Vibrations. You have to have pros and cons. Most people who buy a car and they get into a new vehicle and they start it up and that dash is vibrating, the headlights are vibrating, the side view mirrors are vibrating, they're probably not going to want to purchase it, right? So you have to have a balance between firmness and softness. So what are the cons of a stock mount though? Well, movement. And that movement, especially on the Fiestas, causes some issues. One, these cars have a very short first gear. So there's a lot of torque advantage to that but one of the problems is is that clunks a lot there's a lot of clunk in first gear especially when you do that first to second shift there's a clunk it's a big complaint people throw new cv axles in do this do that and they still have that clunk and it's because there's so much movement in the engine and transmission assembly because of the stock mount there's also when you floor it from first and you slam it in a second there you get the BAM, a loud pop, and it's literally the stock mount completely bottoming out against itself. There's just way too much movement going on, especially if these cars develop so much torque, especially if you put a tune on them. So it's a very popular upgrade. So what are the disadvantages of an aftermarket rear motor mount? There's really only one, vibration. There's a ton of mounts for this car out there. And you know, the thing where so many people make a decision on is really based on the vibration. The price is only varied by about 50, 60 bucks. If 50, 60 bucks is what's keeping you from doing a car modification, I'm not trying to be rude. Save your money, wait till you're better off financially. Don't ruin the car with a part you're unhappy with just to save money. Buy what you want. It's the vibration issue. Okay. So this is the new Wush Motorsports by Ron, his own creation, motor mount for the Fiesta ST. It's only been out for a short while. When I bought this, there was zero reviews, and that's why I'm making this video. Uh, put a review out there, put it on YouTube, put it on the forum. You know, try to give my opinion of what I think about it. Now, obviously, this mount here is not from a Fiesta. This is from a 2010 Ford Focus. This is an OEM Ford stock mount. And you can kind of see the difference. I mean, look at that rubber. It's soft. You you could put a screwdriver here and you could move this, right? So imagine what all the torque of an engine is doing, pulling against itself, right? This here, uh-uh. You're not moving this. Now, the car can move it. You're not going to move it. It is much firmer, completely different type of material. Um, it's a really good part. So far, the quality of this part I really like. You know, it's billet aluminum. It's got an awesome polish to it. I mean, it looks fantastic. And it comes this way. You're not having, I'm not going to name this brands, I mean, out there. But, you know, certain brands uh, that like to use this color, for instance, uh, it comes with some pieces. You have to put this piece, put a washer here, put this there. And put, it's ridiculous. I don't know why in the world they don't assemble that stuff when you're buying a part. Piece. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Now. I've been researching motor mounts for like two years on these cars. And I came up with basically two mounts I was going to buy. I was going to buy the AWR70. That's the softest one they have. I thought it was a really cool mount. I like that it had its own bracket on it. You didn't have to use the old bracket off the car. Well, that's pretty freaking cool, right? But then I saw this mount pop up. And I'm like, well, man, Ron spent the time. They developed this part. And... He said, you know, it's supposed to be a really good, happy in-between. It's going to be stiffer, but it's not going to add a whole lot of vibrations. It's that perfect blend. And the AWR mount is made out of steel. This is built aluminum. It's pretty freaking cool looking. So that's why I chose this mount. Now, I'm going to get over to my car. I'm going to pause this video, turn it back on, and get over there. And we're going to do try to do a visual demonstration of vibration, if possible, with the stock mount AC on, AC off. And then after I install this mount, um, I will do the same thing over again and see if we can see a visual difference in vibration. Because the biggest thing is telling somebody on the site what you think of vibration 
isn't the best thing in the world because we all have different levels of things that we tolerate. Some people don't mind if the whole front of the car is shaking the headlights off of it. And some people are going to be annoyed if the side view mirror has one millionth of an inch of vibration in it, right? So we all have different tolerances. So let's give that a try. Okay, we're back in the car. It's running. The AC is off. Now let's look at one of the number one issues where you'll see vibration is in your side view mirror. Stock mount, zero vibration. Now let's do it with AC. I'm gonna turn it, go max AC. Still, really no vibration. You can feel a little in your seat, stock mount maybe because the idle one's a little down, but you see nothing. Now here's another point where you'll see a lot of vibration is open your door with the car running with the AC on. I got this cup of water in here to try to try something out and see if we can visualize any type of vibration. I'll see the water shaking from me opening the door, but there's no, you know, shaking going on. And I'll put some food coloring in here to see how it mixes. That didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but anyway, there's no vibration really going on. There's nothing on the door. I put my hands on here. My hands aren't shaking. No, it's good. It's smooth. That's the way the factory wants it. Now, I'm going to put this car on ramps. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to install the motor mount. There's tons of install videos out there that are great. I'm not gonna make one. My whole point of this video is to try to fill information that doesn't exist. Right now there's, as far as I know, no videos are really a visual review of this motor mount out right now. So I'm gonna get this installed and if there's any tips that I feel like may be necessary to give or, or anything like that, I'll, I'll uh, relate that when I do the follow up of this uh, mount now it should take me I can't imagine more than 30 minutes we'll see how it goes all right I'll be back in a few all right that was the easiest rear motor mount I've ever installed everything is a 13 millimeter fastener came apart easy went together easy fitment was great so far motor mount a plus this is the Fiesta mount and actually it's not a bad looking piece man from a factory piece Ain't bad looking. You see all that soft rubber? Yeah, that's your movement right there. That only gets worse as the car gets older. If anyone thinks you don't have an ST, boom. They even put the damn sticker on it for you. All right, let's get back in that car. Let's do that same test again. See what happens. Well, we're back in the car. And this mount has definitely added some vibrations. But it is not severe at all. Just turn the AC off. Wow, that's no real vibration. Really no, no vibration really that bad at all. Feels, I can feel a little bit about 1,000 RPM. That's not bad. Let's turn that AC on. Maybe a little bit. Maybe right when you go over that 1,000 RPM, there's a little, a little firmness to it maybe. But it's not bad. It's not nearly as bad as the mount I have in my Ford Focus. Not nearly as bad. Now I'm gonna open this door again and uh, see what happens. Because I'm on Ford Focus, you open the door with the AC on, and that thing's idle and low sometimes. Man, it shakes that door to pieces. Now the AC is still on. And man, that door is not vibrating that bad at all. That cup of water, it's not a. Uh, that's just me opening the door. It's not shaking itself. The door's not jiggling apart. So far, I am impressed. Even though my food color thing didn't work out the hell the way I want it to, I'm still gonna repeat the same thing. If that's only fair. It's not mixing any different. I don't see any vibrations. I don't see any shaking. The car feels good. Obviously, this is just sitting in the driveway. Let me go drive this thing right down the road. Maybe just 
a few miles, turn around, come back, and I'll give my input and how I think it improved the drivability of this car. All right, I'll be back. Wow. Just got done driving the motor mount just a few miles. And uh, I have to say, the clunkiness is not just slightly better. It's 100% gone. The clunkiness doesn't exist anymore. I can sit here and put it in first gear and dog it and lag it, which you shouldn't do. It's just a test. No clunkiness. I did first to second normal shift. No clunkiness. I redlined it in first, slammed it into second with AC on and AC off, trash control and trash control off. There's no clunkiness. It's completely gone. I downshifted it hard. No clunkiness. Um, there's a little more vibration. It's very minimal, though. I'm talking about it's very minimal. And here's the thing about these motor mounts. They break in. And they don't break in overnight, but give it a 1,000 miles, and it will get softer. Give it 5,000 miles. It will continue to get softer up to a certain point. They soften up, and by how great this mount feels now, um, I don't really think you'll... you, you as a thousand miles goes on, not only will you become more accustomed to that slight vibration, that vibration is also going to lessen. Um, I'm hearing a little more other engine noises as well. That's probably just because more stuff is now transferring through the whole body before that rubber was absorbing it and it wasn't getting transferred. So, notice that, but it, it, it sounds good. Um, windows up, windows down, everything sounded fine, drove good. Now, I'm going to give you a recommendation. I think anytime you install an aftermarket motor mount or aftermarket, really anything, suspension-wise, brake-wise, motor mount-wise, go ahead and, you know, recheck your, you know, retighten everything, make sure everything feels good um, after you drive it for a while, you know. But really, other than that, I would 100% recommend this motor mount. And if anything changes in the future and it rips apart on me or something like that, I will make a follow-up, but for right now, A+, plus, highly recommend it. Support Ron, and um, go buy this mount. All right, y'all have a good day.